Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst lush green fields, there lived a man named Ravi. Ravi was known for his kindness and generosity, and he held a special place in the hearts of everyone in the village. Despite not being wealthy in terms of material possessions, he possessed a wealth of compassion and a heart filled with love for his fellow villagers. One day, a wealthy merchant named Vikram arrived in the village. He was renowned for his opulent lifestyle and possessions, always flaunting his wealth to impress others. As news of Vikram's arrival spread, the villagers buzzed with excitement, hoping to catch a glimpse of his luxurious carriage and golden attire. Vikram was a shrewd man, driven by a desire to amass even greater riches. He believed that wealth was the sole measure of success and happiness. To him, generosity was a sign of weakness, a concept that held no value in his pursuit of wealth. He dismissed acts of kindness and believed that true wealth was found in the accumulation of material possessions. Ravi, on the other hand, believed that true wealth lay in generosity and selflessness. He understood that the joy of giving was far greater than any amount of gold or silver. Ravi had always dreamed of meeting a wealthy person who shared his values. Someone who understood the true essence of wealth. Curiosity got the better of Vikram. And he decided to visit the village marketplace. Hoping to witness the bustling life of the villagers. As he strolled through the marketplace. He noticed Ravi sitting under a banyan tree, surrounded by children. Ravi was telling them stories of compassion and the importance of sharing. Intrigued, Vikram approached Ravi and engaged him in conversation. He questioned Ravi about his views on wealth and true prosperity. Ravi, with a serene smile, explained that true wealth was not measured in gold or silver, but in the happiness and well-being of others. He emphasized that generosity was the key to unlocking a treasure trove of blessings. Vikram scoffed at Ravi's words, dismissing them as the ramblings of a naive man. He challenged Ravi to prove his beliefs by inviting him to a competition. Vikram proposed that they each build a house and host a grand celebration. Inviting all the villagers. The person who threw the most lavish party would be declared the true embodiment of wealth. Ravi agreed to the challenge. But he had a different vision in mind. Instead of building an extravagant house, he chose to renovate the village school. Ravi spent his time, effort, and resources to transform the old, dilapidated building into a vibrant center of learning. Meanwhile, Vikram busied himself with constructing a grand mansion, decorated with the most expensive furniture and adorned with rare gems and paintings. The villagers watched with awe as the mansion took shape, marveling at its grandeur. The day of the celebrations arrived, and the villagers gathered at the school in Vikram's mansion. As they stepped into the school, they were greeted by a delightful surprise. Ravi had filled the classrooms with books, stationery, and educational resources for the children. He had also organized various workshops and activities to enhance their learning experience. Vikram's mansion, on the other hand, was filled with opulence and extravagance. The air reeked of excess and selfishness. The villagers couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the ostentatious display of wealth. As the day progressed, the joy and laughter echoed from the school while a sense of emptiness lingered within the walls of the mansion. The children in Ravi's school embraced the gifts of knowledge and the opportunity to learn. Their hearts filled with gratitude. Witnessing the stark contrast between the two celebrations, the villagers couldn't help but realize the true essence of wealth. They saw that generosity and kindness had the power to bring true happiness and prosperity to the community. They understood that the impact Ravi had made on the lives of the children far surpassed the temporary pleasure that material wealth could offer. In the end, Ravi was declared the winner of the competition.
not because of his material possessions, but because of the genuine joy and love he had brought to the village through his selflessness and generosity. From that day forward, the villagers embraced Ravi's teachings and followed his example. They discovered that generosity is the essence of true wealth, and they lived a life full of compassion, kindness, and shared prosperity. And so, the tale of Ravi and Vikram traveled far and wide, inspiring people to prioritize acts of generosity over the accumulation of material wealth. It served as a reminder that true wealth lies not in what we possess, but in what we give. For it is through generosity that we find fulfillment and bring abundance to the lives of others.